In this video, I'll be using group policy to configure quick links in Microsoft Edge starting page. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be deploying YouTube and also Google.com quick links for Microsoft Edge starting page. And now I'll begin this video by going to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I'll be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings. Then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be configuring this policy for my computers, I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Microsoft Edge, and then Startup Homepage and New Tab Page. And first I will be removing the default quick links that comes with Microsoft Edge. So I'll click on this setting right here called hide the default top sites from the new tab page. I will click on it. I will enable this policy, click apply and OK. And the second setting will be set new tab page quick links. I will click on it. I will also enable this policy. And here we need to provide a JSON object with all the information about the quick links that we want to deploy. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this PowerShell snippet that converts PowerShell object into a JSON object. And as you can see in my PowerShell object, I have all the information about the quick links that I want to deploy. So this part right here is for the google.com quick link and also this one is for the youtube.com. And now I'll click on the button right here to copy this snippet, go back to my server. And here I will open a PowerShell window. Then I will insert the snippet, press enter. And here we have the JSON object that we need for our policy. So I'll select it, then I will copy it, go back to my server. I mean my policy editor and insert the value here. And that's basically it. Now we can click on apply and OK. And now we can close this policy editor. And let's go to details and for GPS status, I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one and it holds all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here and I will open Microsoft Edge. And as you can see here, we have the Microsoft starting page. And also we see the default quick links that comes with uh, Microsoft Edge. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my computers. So I'll do it manually. And for that, I will go to start menu. I will search for CMD. And here I will type GP update, press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I go back to my Microsoft Edge, we can still see the default quick links. And that's because for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch Edge. So I'll close it, reopen it. And this time, instead of the default quick links, I see the ones that I wanted to deploy. So I see Google and also YouTube. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.